Thank you and good morning. So nice to see all of you here today. Ministers, members of the Legislative Assembly, nursing colleagues, fellow Manitobans, I am pleased to be here to salute the new registered nurses who have chosen Manitoba as a place where they will practice, live and raise their families. We welcome you and we want you to know the college is here to support you in your practice as registered nurses. The College of Registered Nurses of Manitoba exists to protect the public. We do this by setting standards for registered nursing practice, supporting registered nurses in meeting the standards, and taking action when the standards are not met. Part of the college's role is to establish and maintain a registration process that ensures those who practice are qualified and competent. Our participation in the Philippine mission was as a service provider, ensuring the candidates had ready access to information, documentation, and a solid understanding of the process and requirements for licensure to become a registered nurse in Manitoba. We're pleased the service added value to the overall initiative. I want to commend the registered nurses who are here as a result of the mission. You are helping ensure the citizens of Manitoba have ready access to safe, competent nursing services throughout the province, and that's very important. I also want to commend the government for helping ensure the supply of registered nurses is sustained. Your efforts to try and keep pace with the growing need for qualified registered nurses are a critical success factor. Manitoba is faring better than many Canadian jurisdictions because of public policy decisions which were taken and implemented at an early stage. We have the Nursing Recruitment and Retention Fund, the Provincial Nominee Program, robust nursing education programs offered in both English and French, and recruitment strategies like the successful mission. All of these efforts add up to ensuring the health needs of Manitobans are met regardless of where our citizens live, work, and raise their families. We are pleased that we can play a small role in supporting the recruitment mission and look forward to supporting these registered nurses in their practice. Thank you. And getting accustomed to a new culture, not to mention our Manitoba weather, <laughs> is not easy. Your happy and positive attitude throughout this and your daily life and work is something that we can all learn from. Congratulations for passing the, your registration exams. This achievement took a great deal of hard work and a time during significant change in your life. The impact that you have already had on the communities of the Brandon Regional Health Authority, the Cinnaboyne RHA, Central RHA, and Parkland RHA is significant. Filling many of the nursing vacancies has allowed us to keep heads open, to provide vacation relief, and enhance our other services. I'd like to thank Mr. Oswald, Mr. Howard, Minister Howard, Mr. Howard, and Minister Marcelino, and their staff for making this very successful recruitment initiative a reality, the positive effects of which will be seen in our healthcare system for years to come. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, members of this place, welcome house. Good morning. On behalf of the Philippine Ministers who are here in this hall, I would like to thank you for recognizing our humble contribution in making the Canada healthcare system even better. It's been seven months since I came here with my fellow Filipino nurses, and I still can remember the feeling when I was here when I had my first step in the lands of Manitoba. I couldn't find it hard, I find it hard to believe that time that I was a foreign country already. This time just flew so fast after we were hired last November 2008. And just before this reality sank in my mind, I am already here. They said that um, we had the bravery to come here because we jumped a life of Alano. And like we were complete strangers working with people whose language are different than ours. And 
18 years, which our stomachs have not got used to for many years, and bearing with the cold weather, and when I say cold, it's just an understatement of the experience. For all my life, I have lived in a, uh, in a tropical country. There are so many things which amaze me here, especially that I have come from the Philippines. First, people here are, are tanning their skins while we are doing everything to just be fair in complexion. Second, we have bad lands here. Well, in the Philippines, it's so crowded and congested. And third, having come from the uh, country, which has a huge and horrendous disparity between the rich and the poor, especially in healthcare, I am so amazed with uh, the Canada's healthcare system, which to me advocates equality among all the people who are living here in Canada. Perhaps I would say that we really are brave enough to live blindfolded and, uh, well, uh, never knowing what we are really expecting, never knowing if what lies ahead will break us or break us. But meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you that in a macrocosmic level, I would say that I am convinced that we are living in a borderless world. And when I say borderless, people from different cultures are just co-mingling with one another and countries continue to be melting pots of different race, belief, or cultures. And that we Filipinos are so aware and are well prepared for that. In the concept of nursing in the Philippines, come with our vow to be nurses, is a preparation and awareness that eventually our profession may take us somewhere and eventually our profession may encompass service which goes beyond geographical boundaries, faith, culture, and socioeconomic conditions. That's why hundreds of thousands of nurses, Filipino nurses, are all over the, the globe or scattered around the globe. And that's partly the reason why we are here. However, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you that leaving the country, our own country, and leaving the life which uh, we have used to for how many years, were never easy. Each one of us Filipino nurses has so much more to tell. We left families. We left sick parents, ill child, relationships which might get bigger with long distance. But then again, we thought life on the other side of the fence might be a little bit better. And true enough, we have made our feminist lives in the Philippines better through the job the Manitoba government has given us. And true enough, the money that we sent to the Philippines to somehow treat an illness, send someone to school, save a life, and build a future. And that's what we are so thankful for, for this opportunity. We are really very lucky and we are really very uh, blessed for having this uh, opportunity. And uh, it's just that we are, we are lucky that we are in Manitoba, Canada, when people are just so nice and when people are just so warm to us. We never felt an inch of discrimination while we were at work. And um, our RHAs take care of us very well. I fortunately belong to the RHA Central and I would like to tell everyone that I'm so satisfied with how they look out for us. Of course, there will be um, down and low moments as foreign workers, but um, at least we still make it a point to wear a smile and we have it every day. It's a decision that we have to make every day. So again, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come here and for trusting our confidence as nurses. Thank you for um, giving us the opportunity to improve the lives of our uh, Filipino families back in our home country. Thank you for letting us see the beauty and madness of the Philippines and, the, and for loving our home country much even better while we're here. Thank you and thank you and thank you once again for uh, being instrumental to our professional and personal transformation through this experience. Rest assured that uh, while we are here, we're, while we are here, we're going to continue to be at our best, and we're going to continue to strive harder to become competent, caring, and compassionate nurses, and entwined with our loyal 